Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. We are gonna be in Miss Maggie's room today. We're gonna be doing a pegboard DIY jewelry organizer. I'm really excited to be doing this today. And these are gonna be the supplies that we are using. If you're new to this channel, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button. My sweet husband decided to help me with the skill saw today. He ended up cutting our pegboard that was 48 inches in half. And then we are installing this into her closet doors. Depending on where you're installing these pegboards will determine what size screws you needed. And this is the final look for us. I loved how they turned out. They're very secure and they were super easy to install. I loved the minimal look for her and something that was just really easily accessible. So now we got started with dumping all of our pegs out. It did come with these black safety backs that you can pop on the back of them once you secure them into the pegboard. I decided that we did not need that just because they were very secure up against the wood door. And it also ended up being a fun little sorting game for my little ones. Maggie thoroughly enjoyed bossing her baby brother around. We ended up with the 1 4th inch peg hooks. These worked perfectly for her necklaces and her bracelets. Fabulous. <laughs> Can you get up now? Get up. These are all of her purses. She has a handful of purses and backpacks. She also has some headpieces that we were going to add to the door. We're going to do one side purses and accessories, and then the other side is going to be all of her jewelry. I love the pegboard DIY because it is so easy and you can change it around as you add items or get rid of items. There is a lot of different options to choose from and you have the whole board to kind of do your own little design. You guys get to see me in all of my OCD glory here. You guys will see me rearranging these, kind of figuring out which sides I wanted to have it on, how high, how low, kind of adding in where I needed to or taking out where I needed to. And that's another reason why I just love these pegboards. It's so easy to arrange these out. I ended up taking them out at the top, moving them over, having some spaces in between. And I didn't want to overcrowd it either. So you're going to see me here just moving things around and kind of figuring out where I needed to go. I ended up ditching the headpiece idea. I added it to her little glam drawer that she has in our bathroom and she has her bows and her nail polish and now her little headbands. And now we are going to dump out all of her Goodwill Blue Box finds. All of these pieces are from Goodwill Blue Box. I love being able to share with my daughter and with my son. I started to arrange them by length and by choking hazard. Since I have a little one, little Asher, as you see in the video, I wanted to make sure that the ones that had the chains or that had looser pieces needed to be up as high as possible. Also for Maggie, she is in a great stage where she's not putting things in her mouth, but accidents happen and I wanted to make sure all of the choking hazards were up as high as possible. Asher stuck by my side throughout this entire project and I love being able to do these DIYs with my kids. I went on a search for the rest of her jewelry. I noticed she had a couple pieces missing so I went downstairs, got the rest of the pieces. I also went through all of them and made sure that there wasn't any broken pieces or missing pieces and any of the ones that needed to be repaired were set aside. Asher is going to be the next one I start a collection for. He is really enjoying all of the bracelets and the necklaces these days, and I love that he gets all involved with us. Now we're going to go ahead and start the jewelry pegboard. I started with the longest necklace up at the top left corner, and that kind of measured out all of the other necklaces for me. I just did a straight line across the middle there, as you can see, and then I went ahead and popped up the ones at the very top. That kind of gave me plenty of room because that necklace was fairly long, and I knew that all of the other necklaces would be just fine at that length. I don't know who enjoyed this project more, myself or Asher. He thoroughly enjoyed getting all the pegs and putting them on the board for me. I enjoyed all of his company and the help. And I think it's really nice for him to see how mommy organizes things. 
I started to add the rest of the choking hazard type of chains and the choking hazard necklaces up at the very top there. You can see that I'm just lining them up and there was actually plenty of room for additional necklaces as well, but I wanted to keep it kind of clean and not crowd it too much. Here we started to add the second half of her necklaces. These are more of her everyday wear necklaces and they were about where she could actually reach up and grab them. So I didn't mind those necklaces being at that height. We also had a kiss and a hug break. I had the kids out of the room so that it would be a nice little surprise for Maggie. Next row we added for the bracelet. So these were about the same spacing as the other ones. And then I didn't really like them in this one spot because it was not as secure. So I decided to move it up just a little bit and that seemed to work a lot better. Now I am on the search for the rest of my pegs because Asher decided to place them in a different location. So here we are collecting the bracelets and then getting the rest of our pegs popped in here. There was enough room on the pegs that you could have added multiple bracelets and I ended up stacking a couple of the bangles and a couple of the more daintier chain necklaces. I don't like to waste space so I decided to stack a couple of those. I ended up adding a third row of bracelets, but I could have easily stayed with the two and just stacked the bracelets up. I like them to, to be a little bit more spread out, so I ended up adding that third row, and there was still room for a possible fourth and fifth row for those bracelets. I did not add a ring spot to this yet because, again, I have little ones, so I actually have those in a jewelry box that I keep in my closet in my little office area. That's also where I keep her precious metals and her gemstones. I like to keep those items in a little bit more of a low humidity, no sunshine area, and that's what's excellent about my office space. You guys will be able to see that next week. do live in Georgia so it gets very very humid here and I try to make sure that her jewelry is kept in a low humidity area with low sunlight and that is just to protect the jewelry protect her gemstones and ta-da! I was so excited to have this done today. I loved how it turned out. The accessory area turned out perfectly. The jewelry area looked phenomenal. This was a very easy DIY project that was inexpensive and easy to install. And now it was time for the big reveal. <laughs> Excited to see it? Close your eyes. Now open them. Oh my God, this is the best year ever. Is it? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. <laughs> now you can pick out your jewelry. Yeah, rainbows are your favorite, huh? What about your bags? Where are your bags at? I love the butterflies. You like the butterfly one? Yeah. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, too. I hope you all enjoyed this DIY jewelry organizing project. If you could leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time.